All right, I got bored. Thought, why not check out what's going on with the, the WWE Shop website, what's on sale for today. You know, something for fun on a Friday. So, this stuff, I got five pages worth of stuff, 72 items each. They got 25% off if you use code SUPERSTAR today. So you got like nine hours before this all ends. Let's see what's on sale and what the good deals are on here and have some fun, shall we? So, the Royal Women's SmackDown titles are currently on sale. You add the code, 25% off. Save about 167 bucks. That's pretty good. Pretty good, even if these belts aren't being used anymore. Men's Black Roman Reigns Life's Not Fair t-shirt with the code. He's got like a goat head on there. Life's Not Fair and still, that, yeah, we know how that goes. Uh, okay, the old Uso t-shirts, of course they're going to be on sale. The Usos are no longer a tag team, so... Day one-ish, the real ones, day one-ish what? Uh, I don't get. <clears throat> uh, Karen Cross, final per- Honestly, has anybody bought a Karen Cross t-shirt? Like, have they done anything relevant with him, like, mainstream outside of this faction that he's got going on to the point where somebody wants to buy a t-shirt? Uh, okay, well, about 23 bucks for this one with Roman and Paul Heyman. This one kind of works. Royal Freakin' Champion for Seth Freakin' Rollins, because you have to have the word Freakin' and everything. Hey, the Waffle House Championship! Why is that still being listed? Uh, Drew McIntyre, he's got that up there. Commemorative version of the SmackDown Women's Championship, 186 bucks. Mini Belt, yay, you can save 26 bucks on that in case you want to put it on your Roman Reigns action figure and all that shit. See, the old school Royal Rumble had, I think this was like 96 logo, maybe 97? Somewhere there. Uh, oh, the Wing Eagle Bell with the blue strap. Not bad. 274 bucks. The Uncle Howdy mask. It's almost gone. Act fast. NWO hat and the other Royal Rumble hats that are on here with the old school or recent WWE logo before they made it look like the network. Uh, the uh, men's black street profits. We want the smoke to you. What is this whole we got the smoke shit all about? I kept hearing that phrase way too often when they did that Skittles ad with Ric Flair. Now we on the smoke. I don't get it. What, you want weed? Go to your friggin' store and get some. Then you can have all the smoke you want, god damn it. Anyway. <laughs> oh god, look at this. Roman Reigns, WWE contenders, acknowledge me underwear. Yeah, you have to acknowledge the dick. Acknowledge the dick. Summer freaking slam. God, enough. The big old bell. It's for your action figure again. Hmm. Oh, the legacy. Good God. Still expensive. 740 bucks for this damn thing. Jesus. That's still nuts. Uh, I got more t-shirts. An old school Macho Man Randy Savage one. And Bianca. I, she whips her hair back and forth. I don't give a shit. Uh, commemorative t-shirts for last year for Kale Mania and Russell Zane. Whatever. The NXT UK Women's UK Championship. I'm surprised that's still around because NXT UK is no longer a thing. 308 bucks. Shawn Michaels with camo. Stone Cold. Sweatpants. Do people even wear sweatpants anymore? Didn't they tell you never wear sweatpants in case you're getting a boner or something? Avoid it at all costs. Oh, hell yeah. I say. Ron Reigns, black and red hat. Sleeveless tank top. It, well, of course, sleeve is the tank top of Cody Rhodes. Kids replica bell you can get for 172 bucks. Why bother? White and again, this is also the kind of sweatpants you don't want to wear when you're getting a boner. There's no way to hide it. Ultimate Warrior. Brock shirt. The, I heard a lot of his stuff is on sale. Because you got this with, and of course, it's going to be expected, though, with the promo package or promo code and all that stuff. Bad Bunny, that looks something like Disney related. Mission, what kind of name is that? Finn 14 Staples, oi fella! So they made a shirt out of the fact that he got cracked open at WrestleMania last year. Old school Rust Smackdown hat, I think that's actually kind of cool. We the Ones, again, the haven't I said this before? We the Ones getting DUIs or some shit? You can smell what the rock is cooking, typical. Royal Rumble side plays, I bet Big Boy wants these. Replica belt extender. This is something I would never get because even when I have the belt as tightly as I can on the snaps, it's still a bit too wide for my skinny ass. Okay, so I'm not investing in that. 68 bucks for NWO side plates and female shirts. 
Go for bro. I'm surprised they're still selling this shit at all. I guess they're just trying to liquidate their inventory here for Riddle stuff because he's no longer with the company. He can go run around naked somewhere else. Uh, Hollywood rule. Yeah, yeah, Hogan, sure. And during Black History Month, don't bother. Rey Mysterio, 619. Get rid of the one. It's far better. Sami Zayn, honorary U shirt. Man, it would be cool if that was still a thing. Pink one, I don't think you can hide a boner in these ones either. And they say men's, but it doesn't really look like it. Honestly, WrestleMania 39 Sunset, eh? Big time backs. I'm not a fan of the design. Stone Cold brief, boxer briefs. If you're into that and want Stone Cold next to your nuts, uh, promotional ones for the sure. We already went through the Roman one. Oh my God, why? I don't want Hogan's ear where my dick is at. All right, no thank you. Biggie side plates. Austin Theory. Who's gonna buy an Austin Theory hoodie? 24-7 championship toy belt. I saw some toy belts at Walmart last week, and they looked in far better condition than this shit. The only way I would buy this is if I'm going to destroy it. More bad money stuff. Monster Bomb, Braun Strowman, where are you coming back to TV? Million Dollar Man, the Good Brothers, who cares? Uh, Red and Black Attack, so NWO. 420, bro, no thanks. If I want to get high again, I don't want to think about Riddle. WrestleMania 39, Asuka, or t-shirts. Big Bronson Reed, I'm not impressed. Who wants to play? No. Uh, American Rock, again, I don't, anything patriotic, I really don't care for. And I'll explain it someday in a different video, or an episode of the podcast. More stuff freaking roll and shit. Mini Replica Bell, why? For the Intercontinental Championship. American Nightmare, big whoop. All right, page number two. Let's see what we got, more tank top dish. Here's this before us for Night no, Jacks. Why? Undertaker! Yay! The Phenom! Yeah, my ass is the Phenom. Big whoop. Mini versions, belts, hug, patriotism, Johnny Wrestling with no personality, Bianca, LWO sweatpants. I mean, that would hide your boner. Rick Boogs! Not with the company either. You're not even in wrestling. Yo, Sky looks a little. Eh. All that text just feels like. You're just. It's a whole promotional piece for like a movie poster or something like that. That would have fit more for WrestleMania. Now, some of the stuff I can get on board with, like this old school SummerSlam pullover hoodie with the old school logo on there, I can work with that. Youth shirt, day one ish, yeah, honorary use. Made in the dungeon, so Natalia still needs more merch. Let's see more LWO for Bad Bunny. Fool around and find out. Uh, that's not the word I usually think of when I see around and find out after that. My new shirts. Fight together, but not forever. LWO, more mini belts. Three faces of Foley. That can work. Drew McIntyre side plates. Bro, no, I don't need all that glitter on my crotch. No, thank you. Promotion wants for poster pay-per-views again. Went in the bank in London. I mean, yeah. Still selling Edge stuff, so I guess they're trying to get rid of that stuff. I mean, I do like that color scheme, but, eh. Anything that's involving, like, a poster on a shirt, I feel is kind of like a lazy cop-out thing to just throw on a shirt. Especially when it doesn't really match. You can tell how, how the edges are, like, with the corners and all that shit. It just stands out as just being lazy. You just put the picture there, or not, boom, there you go. New York City Smackdown for the New York Knicks. Black Lesnar, I mean, Bobby Lashley, whatever, side place. Carmella, you're not money. United Champion. Uh, again, I don't want posters. Hunga Howdy Plastic Mask. Jeez, for about nine bucks? That's cheap as shit. Even with the discount code. So you got the rock. That one looks cool. Claymore Country. I not in, I'm not on board with that name. The Hot Rod T-shirt for SummerSlam. In your house. I mean, yeah, that can work for old school stuff. A backpack. Three model, 3D model title back. Pa no, no, uh, I don't think so. Batista, Brock Lesnar, country. Yeah, of course this is gonna be on sale. Country ass kicking. Our woman. Uh, nope, nope. Got to stop myself from making a reference to the lawsuit. Nope, no, thank you. Ultimate Warrior, old school ring, American Bash logo, or mini belts and stuff. Ooh, Austin Little Playmate Cooler. I mean, that ain't bad, especially if this is probably the kind that you got all the beers put into that timekeeper chucks at him. Good reference here to the barbershop segment. Hurry back through the window to escape! 
Like, yeah, no, don't care about patriotism, live, whatever. 20 bucks for the one for SummerSlam shirt, I mean, yeah. SummerSlam tank top. Again, promotional posters, don't care. Kofi side plates. Pink! Yeah. Braun Breaker, it's whatever. One night only. Bad Bunny, who cares? Quite honestly. Uh, blueprints for Money in the Bank. I mean, it's creative. I can give it that. <coughs> Excuse me. There are more t-shirts and stuff. Let's see what's on page three. We're getting there. Zia Lee, I honestly don't know who she is. Men's Contenders Clothing, so you get a package here for Ultimate Warrior for Ultimate Warrior for a t-shirt and boxer briefs. Go away, Riddle. I don't give a fuck about you. Detroit SummerSlam. I mean, that would have been cool if I attended the show. You know, Sky... A Brett the Hitman Hart costume. Wait until October for that. I don't want to look like the Hitman because then I'm going to just spend the whole day walking around and be like, yeah, I'm the excellence of execution and fuck Goldberg all the damn time. No thanks. Razor Ball, you're not going to hide a boner in here either. Macho Man on your crotch. Yeah. Dick, ooh, yeah. Wouldn't, you, wouldn't it be funny... If some like you get in bed with somebody, they take your underwear off, and you hear "Oh yeah!" and they see your dick. That'll be funny. The brown brick and gent. I don't fucking know. WrestleMania doggy style. I don't think that's PG. The devil you know. What in the world? Oh, that's the one for Edge. Didn't realize it first because I didn't see the back of the shirt. SummerSlam mini belts again. Side plates. True crew. What? Huh. Oh, yeah, she's that girl who sleeps all the time. Whatever. Oh, yeah, just what we need. Also, a reminder of SummerSlam 93 disastrous main event with the bad booking of the finish. LWO armband. Time's up TikTok. Yeah, Karrion Cross. See, one for Raw for the Timberland or Minnesota Timberlands. WCW. I'm surprised they sell anything with WCW because they keep saying WCW sucks. Decal. Eh. I mean, I know it's Eddie Guerrero, but I'm just not into or to decal. Holiday ornament, we're way past that, okay? Round of Rousey gloves. Ugh. Jesus Christ, those look like shit. ECW hat, I guess you can go with that. Edge plush bleacher creature. So... What, is that supposed to be like the kind of bleachers that you sit in at the stadium? You're bored and everything, you got Edge right next to you to keep your company? I don't know. I don't know. Also, bus key ring, nah. A stainless steel tumbler for the SummerSlam logo. Yeah. Money in the bank. I mean, I do like that color scheme as well. Dark navy blue with red. Another backpack with the other championships. WCW Monday Nitro. No, thank you. I kept up with reliving the war, and I'm not impressed with anything WCW related. So now you also get this package here again with a reminder of the warrior, except without that package thing right here. Two more side plates. I mean, pride pullover hoodie? I'd probably prefer that in black rather than red. But then again, I also don't wear hoodies, to be honest. Unless there's zip ups. More items are almost gone. One for a hoodie for WrestleMania last year. More hoodie, more ornaments. No. <sighs> Bro, go to hell. <laughs> anyway. Anything else? SummerSlam again, Mr. Perfect. A lot of weird stuff. SummerSlam again. Booty! Fall time! Fall time! Uh, uh. I'm not doing anything. So I play it. Mini Rocka Belt of the NXT <laughs> Cruiserweight Championship. Old School Black Adjustable Hat for the SmackDown logo. SummerSlam Old School ish. Now. This is something I'm wondering. Highlight of the night. What is Ricochet reaching for? He stands in the aisle way. He reaches upwards. It's almost like when Eve Torres does that during her entrance. Like, what are you grabbing? It's a, it made sense when Mr. Kennedy did that, when he would reach up during his entrance because he's waiting for the microphone to drop down and go into his hand. But what is, what is Ricochet reaching for? Is he reaching up to try to grab an orgasm while he's having a thumb up his ass? Uh, must come. Must reach that climax. Uh, casket ornament for The Undertaker. I mean, that kind of a nice novelty, but I don't really... Eh. It's not there. Hot Rod hat. More t-shirts for past stuff, like Old School Kane. 
I mean, the most recent one compared to the past, not including corporate or this reinvented demon game, but that one's actually pretty cool. Looks like the Lily costume hat. No, I don't want to look at that. This one, no, I set this on fire. Hollywood Hulk Hogan Hollywood rules shorts. No. A one sided flag for WrestleMania. I'll be surprised if anybody was waving this. Or ornaments. Slim cooler or whatever. <laughs> or Brock Lesnar key ring. With the King of the Ring hat. Street Profits or the Pride. Let's see page five. We're almost there, folks. We're almost there. More key rings and slim can coolers. Yeah, so cool. This one is just lazy. Baddest. Okay. Whatever. Flush. No, again, I'd set this on fire. More ornaments, side plates. No, uh, what else we got? Another LWR armband. Almost superheroes activate. I'm surprised they're still selling this. She hasn't done this in how long? And this, I'm surprised they're even... Let me bring this one up. I thought they eliminated anything with Vince McMahon on them because of, like, the stuff he's going through legally. But yeah, you still have this t-shirt here representing WWE versus WCW with Vince on the left and Eric Bischoff on the right. And, of course, the only shirts they got left are small size. Again, that's too small for me. Unless I'm putting it on a dog or something, but I thought they were getting rid of everything that had Vince McMahon on them in terms of merchandise. Because that's what I heard. I mean, you even look at the front, like I said. Damn it, pal! It's such good shit! Mutt, 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 no! Gotta get out of the habit. It's not such good shit. Uh, then, of course, they're gonna have ones with other logos and everything like they do with championships for. Cities and Raws and Smackdowns and all that stuff. Beach towel for the LWO. Eh. Now this looks like DX invaded like with freaking brood and everything with the paint spray in the back. Ah, I just throw that on there. Brock Lanyard. So again, they are putting a bunch of stuff involving Brock in the clearance section. Single sided towel for Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens at Night of Champions. I don't even remember who they faced that night. Kind of surprising. What? Okay, I had a feeling, yeah, that had to be Mr. T and Roddy Piper from WrestleMania 1 from the tag main event. More beach towels, even though I don't think anybody's thinking about going to the beach in February. Unless you're in the south. Chalk line? I didn't know that was kind of material or name or anything like that. Okay, last two pages, because the... Let me get to that last one on here so I can... I got your back. With the OC. What are they even doing with the OC? Every time you see Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson, like, teaming up with somebody... Ah. There's high pitch there. With, like, either Finn or AJ, they suddenly break them up somehow. Like, somebody's turning heel or they're separating them and shit. What's the point? Grizzled Young Veteran Scarf. What? Aren't they... Didn't they leave... Last I checked. Uh, probable or I mean, this does look more fancy than the last one that we saw. But eh, choker necklace? No, 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 thank you. Uh, anything else interesting that I can bring up? A burst bulldog dog collar. Yeah. Oh my God! You actually have the Nikki outfit here. You can put the cape, you can put the wristband things on, the mask, and that, I guess it's like, what is that top thing on here? I can't identify this. It almost looks like a slight headband or something? Includes complimentary, complimentary armband, two sleeves, cape, and a mask. Oh, okay, so that's an armband. I thought you just, more of a headband or anything, because it's right above the mask. Had me confused there. Uh, otherwise, you can get this stuff separately. So hold on, you put everything together. That's like when you include the discount codes, you're about thirty-five bucks. But then you have just the cape and the mask alone, so that's thirty-one. So that's almost equivalent without the armbands and the sleeves and all that shit. <laughs> Who's doing the math here? 
Uh, anything else? Yeah, another costume mask. And then this extra stuff, that's an extra nine, almost ten bucks. So, again, you're better off just buying everything together with that, with that one bundle rather than the stuff separately. Because the stuff separately, like when you add them up with three different transactions, it's more than this. What in the world? Weird, weird numbers game right there. Hey, Tatanka! Buffalo! Uh, Bloodline Contender Boxers. I mean, that only looks cool just because, again, it's my color scheme there. Anything else that we got before wrapping it up? Yeah, that's about it. So, yeah, it seems like a lot of clearance stuff is all about... Like, freaking... Uh, anything that's just mostly involving t-shirts. Oh, wait a second, is this... And again, you also see other stuff with Brock, like Brock also being on sale, like his replica shorts, everything. They got this listed in here, and you have no way of seeing a price. Collective part of canvas from a WWE live event. Why put it on a list if you don't have it on sale or anything like that? Because then again, you got all this weird stuff. I mean, the, this is the only thing I see right now out of all the Brock stuff that's not on sale. A six-inch tall plush of him. So in case you want the beast laying next to you while you're in bed, that's about it. Everything else is on sale. That's the one thing that you're not going to get a discount for, even if you apply the code. If you want to apply the code and get the pair of short, replica shorts that aren't getting ripped off by Cody Rhodes, that's your best bet. So anyway, let me know what you all found in the comments section. Well, it just gets a little weird when so many things on is just like, oh, we're trying to sell all these t-shirts. I mean, my gosh. Let me know all in the comment section below, and I'll catch you all next time. Thanks for watching, folks. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out and good day, everybody.